one of the my viewers has asked about um, me to do a video on chickens versus quail so I'm gonna talk about it more from a personal experience and um, why I actually keep both of those um, birds here at Back 30. The reason that I first got interested in quail was because our municipality here has um, restrictions on how many chickens you can have and um, we're not allowed to have roosters. So that means that if I want to replenish my flock I need to source um, eggs um, from somewhere else and or, or um, new chickens from somewhere else um, every time. So I really wanted to be able to have a self-sustaining um, flock so my attention got drawn off to quail so with quail um, we can keep roosters here um, I find them to be very quiet particularly once you have your balance right for males to females and um, I can incubate the eggs here and I do so on a yearly basis I sell the quail eggs um, locally and um, I can recover the cost of the feed for both the quail and the chickens by selling the quail eggs because they're not um, I can also sell um, chicks and I can sell hatching eggs so I keep black Katornix quail and um, Celadon um, so those are the blue eggs as well so more on the um, unusual side so I can sell the eggs for for a higher price than I would if they were just the regular speckled kind. So with the quail, I sell um, eating eggs for $4 a dozen. I sell hatching eggs. Like I said, I have black Katornix quail, which are a rare variety, as well as Celadon, which is the blue eggs. And I can sell those uh, for $15 a dozen for hatching eggs in the, in the spring and summer season. And I can also sell chicks um, here for $5 each. So with, um, with that, I can um, either choose to eat the eggs myself or I can generate um, some income and sort of offset the cost of keeping both the chickens and the quail through through that income and I hear that a lot around homesteaders asking well you know how can I generate income um, on the homestead and this is just one way that we um, I, I figured to make it at least um, not costing us more to keep chickens um, it doesn't cost us anything um, because we don't have to pay for the feed um, so it works out to our advantage we primarily just eat the chicken eggs One of the other benefits of keeping both chickens and quail is the the fertilizer. So the manure, um, quail poop a ton. So chickens poop a lot, quail poop even more. So I use permaculture design here and um, having multiple sources of um, manure is helpful to enrich the soil and to, to fertilize. So the quail manure and chicken manure both are hot manures, which means they're really, really high in nitrogen, so they need to be composted. I just do a cold compost method and I keep them in a big pile um, for six to 12 months and they're mixed in with wood shavings and straw or um, hay, usually straw, um, before they get added to the garden. I also use a deep litter method for both um, types of birds so that I only need to clean out the coops every uh, four to six months at the most and then pile it into the compost so it really keeps the labor down and it starts that decomposition process right while it's in, in the coop still. Chickens can also be used to reduce my labor. Um, so I use um, um, poultry netting. Um, you can have electric poultry netting or you, you can leave it unelectrified. So I just use it um, on its own. And that allows me to move the chickens around into the different garden beds as I want them there. to either clean up 
uh, in the fall or to prepare the beds and um, scratch them up and eat the weeds and the bugs prior to planting in the spring. So that's not an option with quail. Um, there's a saying that you can uh, free range quail once um, because they'll never return. Um, so they need to stay in, in their coops. You can see one of them there behind me. Um, so they stay in the coop but chickens are just uh, fantastic for reducing the labor in like I said cleaning up the beds or um, prepping them in the spring. And chickens are also waste eating machines. So he'll eat grass clippings, garden waste, um, kitchen waste and turn that into uh, really nice compost and eggs for breakfast. So uh, they get a lot of the scraps from our garden. We have quite, quite a bit of garden space here and grow a lot of varieties of both fruit and vegetables. So the, the chickens are just fantastic for, for um, eating that. Um, we put in the coop and anything that they don't eat or in the run um, anything that's also there just um, decomposes into the the run and um, then we clean it out every couple of years and add that to the gardens as well and so the last area um, is personality and chickens win hands down in this department um, quail are more flighty and skittish they can be tamed if you handle them a lot I've definitely seen some some people that tame them and, and keep them more as pets indoors um, I handle mine a fair bit as young chicks but um, you know once they move outside you know they they um, sort of lose that Chickens are more curious or interactive and friendly. You can kind of herd them to different areas in the yard um, to, like I said, to work on garden beds and things. So they'll follow me around and um, are quite happy to greet me first thing in the morning. So if you're considering um, quail or chickens or having both, hope that gives you some considerations to make when you're, when you're choosing. Or... Thanks for joining me and take care.